This is a kite I made using a carbon fiber spine and a carbon fiber bowl. The spine is a flat piece of carbon, similar to what I talked about in a prior video. And I used a top line hitch and a tension line uh, in order to get the bend in the spine. Now on this kite, I'm experimenting where that bend might be the most optimum location. Right now, it's right about at the wingtip line where it crosses the spine. Now, the top, top line hitch and tension line to create the bend and have it adjustable is really good. I like it. However, I have made kites a different using a carbon fiber spine, but making the bend in a different way and making it more permanent so that it's not adjustable. And that works well as well. So I'm going to show you that, uh, what I do. This is a piece of flat carbon. And what I do is split it. I split the carbon. I'm not sure you can see this. Let's see here. I use a uh, utility knife, a stiff bladed knife, and I find the center of the thin side of the carbon. And I work the blade into that and then just wiggle it back and forth and continue to push so that it splits and it will split just like any bamboo or many other woods would split. The reason I split it is that I want to glue it with super glue. I want to glue it back together. But when I glue it back together, I'm going to glue it clamped to this form. This is simply a piece of uh, metal I bought at Home Depot. I think it's used in the uh, framing of a house. I'm not exactly sure, but it's just a piece of metal. And I bent it a little bit so that it takes on a shape that I think might be a good shape for the bend in a spine. Now, once I have this split, what I do is something very simple. I use wax paper, <laughs> my, one of my favorite tools, either put it on the form that you're using to clamp it on. And the purpose of the, of the wax paper is simply to stop the super glue from making the spine stick to the form. And the other way I do it is simply wrap the spine where the glue is in the wax paper and then clamp it that way. So what I do is I use a toothpick and I separate the split. Then I apply super glue. I use a liquid, very inexpensive. I think I get like three or four tubes in a package and the package probably costs a dollar or something like that, not very much. So I do that. 
And you have to work a little bit faster than normal, maybe, because the super glue will bond quickly, and you don't want it to bond too quickly. But I wrap the wax paper, pull out the uh, toothpick, wrap the wax paper around the glued portion, and then I line it up with the edge of the form, and I use clothes pins. And I just close pin it down to the form to let the glue dry or set or whatever it does to create the bend. Now, when this dries, <clears throat> which won't take too long, I'll unclamp it, take the wax paper off, but the amount of bend, even though this is the amount of bend that I'm gluing the, or lam, you know, like laminating the two uh, separated parts of the carbon together again, I'm doing it, it with this kind of a shape. It won't have that shape when I release the clamps. The carbon fiber will have a tendency to go a little bit back to its flat position. So you'll end up with less of a bend than what you have as a bend in your form, whatever you use for the form. Now, the thing I like about doing it this way is that I never have to think about the spine bend when I'm flying. Now, sometimes, of course, the bend may not be exactly what I think it should be, and there's nothing I can do about it. Or it's just about perfect all the time. <laughs> now, after I do this, if the bend isn't really sufficient enough, I then add a tension line in addition. And that allows me to make further adjustments to the bend. But uh, I know there is a permanent bend in the spine that I don't ever have to worry about it being a flat spine and the kite not flying very well. Well, I'm gonna see if this is dry or set. And it is, but as you can see, the bend is very modest right in here. So the shape of this was much more severe than the finished shape here. And that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, so when you're doing, if you do this, you're just going to have to have a little bit more severe bend in your form than you want in the finished spine. 